Hello my dear students today we are going to start a new topic called subtraction on the number line let us see how to subtract on the number line and by backward counting we know that subtraction means taking away or backward counting let us do one question 8 minus 6 for finding this on the number line first of all we should draw a number line here you can see a number line with numbers from 0 to 10 Since we are subtracting six from eight, or our question is eight minus six, we should start from eight and move six steps backward. See one, two, three, four, five, six. Why we move six steps back? Because we should subtract six, or our question is eight minus six. After moving six steps back. From eight, where did we reach? Yes, we reached two. So eight minus six is equal to two. Let us see another question. Sixty-two minus seven. Here also we should draw a number line first. No need to write from zero because we are subtracting seven from sixty-two. So just write from. Fifty-five to sixty-two, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two. Write some numbers before sixty-two on the number line. Since we are subtracting seven from sixty-two, or our question is sixty-two minus seven, we should start from sixty-two and move seven steps backward. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Where did we reach? Yes, fifty-five. So we can say the answer of sixty-two minus seven is same as fifty-five. Let us see another method. Subtraction by counting backward. Our question is thirty-five minus three. We have already studied that subtraction is backward counting. We should put three blank spaces before thirty-five because we are subtracting three from thirty-five. See, like this. Then count backward to get the answer: thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two. So we can say thirty-five minus thirty. Sorry, thirty-five minus three is same as thirty-two. Let us see one more question: ninety minus four. Here we should subtract four from ninety. So before ninety, we should draw four blank spaces because we are subtracting four. One, two, three, four. Now you should count backward from ninety. Ninety, then eighty nine, eighty eight, eighty seven, eighty six. So we can say ninety minus four is same as eighty six. Now let us see how to subtract by counting in tens. Here you can see group of tens. How many tens are here? Yes, three tens. See, each group has ten apples. From these three tens, subtract two tens, which means cross out two tens. One, two. How many left? Yes, one ten. So three tens minus two tens is same as one ten. Or we can say three tens means thirty. Thirty. Minus twenty is same as ten. Then subtract five tens minus two tens. See how many tens? Yes, five tens. Five tens together have fifty. Minus two tens. Two tens together twenty. So our question is fifty minus twenty. Then cross out two tens. How many left over? Yes, we left with three tens. So five tens minus two tens is equal to three tens. Now let us see how to subtract numbers on the abacus. Five minus four. First of all, we should arrange these numbers on the abacus according to its place value. See, both the numbers are having only one digit. So five is in the place of ones. Also four, the place value of four is also ones. So you should draw five beads on ones place. Is there a number in the tens place? No. Then 
cross out 4 beads since we are subtracting 4 from 5 1 2 3 4 how many left over yes only 1 so 5 minus 4 is 1 then subtract 14 from 25 or the question is 25 minus 14 so we should arrange 25 on the abacus how many tens will be there yes 2 and how many ones yes 5 now we should subtract 4 from 5 and 1 from 2 according to its place value because in 14 4 is in the place of 1's and 1 is in the place of 10's so from that 5 beads we should cross out 4 1 2 3 4 how many left over yes 1 that 1 we should write here then from that 2 we should subtract 1 we should cross out 1 how many left over yes 1 so the answer is 11 Then let us see some subtraction stories. Raj had seven kites. Four kites flew away. How many left over? Yes, three. How many we should cross out? One, two, three, four. Because four kites flew away. So seven minus four is same as three. There are five butterflies in the garden. If three butterflies fly, fly away, how many will remain? Yes, two. So five minus three is same as two. My dear children, I hope all of you understand today's topic. Study well, take care. Thank you.